Hi, my name's Dan, and in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the logic gate called an AND gate. So, prerequisites in order to understand this video, you need to have some basic understanding of Boolean logic and Boolean algebra. It doesn't need to be hugely advanced. Uh, but you also need to understand the principle of logic gates, and the first video in this series uh, gives a fairly in-depth look at that. So, I suggest you have a, a look at that if you haven't done so. Uh, so here we go. Now we're going to have the AND gate. Uh, this is equivalent to the Boolean process AND. Um, and here's a truth table for the AND gate. There's um, uh, uh, two inputs. And uh, as is traditional on truth table, we're presenting the inputs as a kind of uh, uh, binary number thing. Uh, all of these gates are symmetrical. You could swap around the input A and the input B, but they are uh, distinct from each other. Um, and so, um, as you should know from your uh, Boolean algebra, the AND process will give you uh, a, a true output, or in this case a one output, uh, only if and only if both of the inputs uh, are also one. So any other combination, the first uh, three rows in here give zero output, and the bottom row gives a one output. Uh, so we're going to have a look at a circuit that does that. I'm using a, a, a dig digital electronics simulator called Digital Works. Um, it is free uh, if you want to get hold of it yourself. And in fact, in later videos, I'm going to show you how to use it in more depth. Uh, but it's a good way to, to demonstrate these gates. So we're just going to zoom in quite a bit here, so can have a look at this gate. This is the symbol for a, an AND gate. Uh, the inputs are on the left, and uh, the output is the right, as is traditional for when we're learning these things. And this is just an interactive thing, and I can switch the inputs to, so that's a high input, that's a low input, also 0, 1, off, on. And as you see, if we do either of these independently, the output doesn't change, the output's just an indicator of what the input does. Uh, but when we put both of them to high, we get uh, a high output. And that is it from me for now. 